Hello, I'm Benji from Single Track Magazine, and today I'm going to talk you through the Saracen Aerial 50E. This bike we have here is the Aerial 50E, and it's the entry level Aerial E in a three model range. This 50E retails for 4,999. The next model up is the 50E Pro with the Shimano EP8 motor, Fox 38 performance fork, and float X2 rear shock. That's 5,999. Topping out the electrified aerials is the Aerial 50E Elite with the Fox 38 factory fork and the DHX2 coil shock, and that comes in at 6,999. Now then, at this point, I think I should come out straight away and say I'm something of a Saracen fanboy. I'm not that fussed about the 90s Saracen era that gets other middle-aged mountain bikers juices flowing. I'm more about the modern reincarnation of Saracen. The modern Phoenix from the Flames Saracen started sometime around 2010 with the analog aerial. Modern era full suspension Saracens are flipping well good and that's that. Stick a Shimano motor and a decent capacity battery in the mix, and yes, basically. The 2023 Saracen Aerial E's take everything that the previous Aerial E's had, we'll call those the Mark II, and it runs with it. We're talking much improved and better chosen finishing kit. Now then, the Mark II Aerial was a giant leap forward from the Mark I Aerial. Remember the Mark I's external battery and all the other clunky, not quite finished articles that were on all early e-bikes, that's all gone. The geometry of the Mark I was also pretty old school. Anyway, the Mark II came out in 2021 and it was a whole new animal. Better motors, better integration of stuff, loads of better geometry. The 2023 Aerial e-bike range further builds on these improvements. Let's get back to the bike we have right here. Aluminium frame. Up front, we have 160mm travel forks. There's 150mm of rear travel via the oft overlooked aspect of the new generation aerial e-bikes, the TRL rear suspension design. It's a single pivot linkage activated goodness machine. We have a large size aerial 50E here, which is 29 inch wheel front and rear, as too is the case on the extra large size. The medium and small aerial E's come in the mixed wheel mullet configurations. Truth be told, on normal non-electric bikes, I'm not that bothered about mullet configuration wheels, but on full bore, full tilt e-bikes like this one, they definitely have their uses. Extra maneuverability at the back, and obviously quite a bit more arse clearance when you really want to hunker down on the tech stuff. Up front, leading the charge, is the Marzocchi Bomber Z1, 160mm of travel, air sprung, sweep adjust compression at the top, and if I'm not mistaken, some custom colour coded decals. The rear shock is a Fox Float X performance unit with rebound adjustment and a two position compression lever, which is also known as a climb switch by most people. Now, this is not a tin pot weedy little shock. This is a full-on 230mm eye-to-eye length shock delivering a full 65mm of shaft stroke. It's things like this that are easily missed on spec sheets but have a massive effect on how well and consistently the bike rides. Not to mention how more forgiving they are in terms of setting them up in the first place. Dinky weedy shocks suck on e-bikes a lot. Kudos to Saracen for making the considerable effort to package proper shocks into these bikes. It's worth pointing out that Saracen have a little suspension setup cheat sheet on their website for all their aerial e-bikes. And you just read across, find what you weigh, and it tells you what rebound to put in in this regard. On the upper end models that get quite complicated with low speed and high speed this and that, hours of faff saved. And it means that everyone, even the most suspension phobic non-twiddler, can have a bike that isn't set up badly. The motor on this entry-level Aerial 50E is the Shimano Steps E7000. Now this may only kick out a modest 60 Newton meters of torque. If that isn't enough for you, the models above have the Shimano EP8 with the full 
85 newton meters of torque. It's specking the E7000 motor that's a key factor in getting this bike under the five grand price point, really. And to look on the considerable bright side, 60 newton meters is still quite a lot of help and is certainly significantly less battery draining. And let's be honest, a lot of the 85 newton meter motored e-bikes out there don't get used in boost mode very much because it just rinses the battery very quickly. In terms of fuel tank, in all the Aerial 50Es now, we have a 720 watt internal battery in there from Darfon. So there's no more 504 watt uh, dinkier batteries and the range anxiety that goes with those. This is a, a decent capacity battery that will keep you going for quite a long time. The main power switch is neatly integrated into the top tube. There's a little USB-C power port just below that power button as well under a little rubber flap. There's a simple bar remote in the left hand grip and the display sits alongside the stem and gives you all the info you really need. With it being a proper Shimano motor and motor system, you can connect to it via Bluetooth, via your smartphone and do some tweakery. So you can play with the different levels of power it gives you in the different modes, which are Eco, Trail and Boost. And you can get the display to do different things as well if you want everything displayed. You can cycle through them forever, forever, forever. If you like that sort of thing, you can do that. Or you can turn a few of the screen information off and just have it giving you the essentials. I like to just know what time it is and what cadence I'm doing and what the battery's up to. And with that system, that's what you can put it on. Geometry talking time. Saracen's secret weapon alongside their TRL suspension linkage. The geometry on this bike is great. Basically, the Aerial 50E is long. It may not be hugely slack up front, 65 degree head angle, but the bike sure is lengthy. The reach on this large is a magnificent 505 millimeters. The chainstays are an excellent 465 millimeters long. Yes, I said excellent. I'm not a fan of short chain stays on any bike, but especially an e-bike. Maximize your climbing capability to a ridiculous degree. It's an e-bike. Insane climbs are now actually fun. To work in conjunction with these lengthy stays is the rather modest BB drop of just 25 mil. So it's a fairly high bottom bracket. This high bottom bracket is actually great for a bike of this wheelbase and reach. Low slung bottom brackets aren't so great on long bikes. They can leave you a bit lost and overly stuck to the ground. Bringing up that BB high adds shed loads of dynamism and control back into the mix. This is another easily missed or arguably misconstrued sign that Saracen know exactly what they're doing with their numbers. Now, that 65 degree head angle may get some people's eyebrows a raising. We're used to head angles of one or two degrees slacker than that these days. This is where the Z1 fork comes into play. The Z1 has masses of support and is well placed to be set up to ride nice and high in its travel while still allowing the full travel to be accessible. Even if it means lighter riders just need to remove a few volume spaces from its stock setup. That's what volume space is a for, fine tuning things to work best for you. E-bike forks don't need loads of sag to be plush or to work well. You should be running your e-bike forks with less sag, remove some volume spaces if you need to, to get at the travel and reap the benefits of a better handling, higher supportive front end. We'll finish off with a quick rundown of the spec sheet. We have 203 mil rotored Dior disc brakes, we have an SLX 12 speed mech and cassette at the back. Nice little 165 cranks up front. Keep your cranks nice and short for extra ground clearance when you're scrabbling up madness. We have the DT H552 wheel set. Really good, good width, 30 mil internal width, ideal for 2.4 tires. Speaking of which, 2.4 tires. DHR2s, front and rear, best tire of all time. Possibly, certainly up there. And we have race face supplying the bars and the stem. The bars are 780 wide by 35 mil rise, and the stem is nice and dinky at 40 mil. Proper ODI lock-on grips. KS Rage dropper post, 
and Saracen's own e-bike specific saddle. So that is the 2023 Saracen Aerial 50E. Keep an eye out for a full review of this bike going on singletrackworld.com very soon. In the meantime, goodbye from me. Goodbye. Truth be told, on normal bikes, I'm not that sold on the whole mullet idea, but on full bore e-bikes, they do have a point. There's the extra maneuverability and the extra, what should I say, arse? <laughs> Don't know really. <laughs>